Hi, this is Danny, and it is about 3.45 in the morning. I'm getting ready to leave my national forest here at Roosevelt National Forest. I'm getting ready to leave my campsite I had for the night and um, did a little free camping, and I'm about to leave. There's a long and windy dirt road to get me out of here, but I won't have to worry about any traffic on it. Um, so I want to do the Bear Lake segment of Rocky Mountain National Park today, and Bear Lake has a reservation system going from 5 a.m. to 6 p.m., and I couldn't get a reservation. And I really don't want to leave without doing Bear Lake. And I'll give those reasons later because I'm not coherent enough to go through them. But I didn't want to do with I didn't want to leave without doing Bear Lake, and I've been in the park for a couple of days already, and so this is my last chance. Well, not my last chance, but whatever. So I'm doing it today. Wish me luck. I'm gonna drive down this windy road. I don't have any cell service. Hopefully, I can get my way out of here into the park, and I'll let you know how it goes. Wish me luck. Bye. So here's a little tip for you. I left my navigation on even though I had no cell service, knowing that this little map would still point me in the direction that I had been. And it was a good reference point. I knew I just needed to stay on this main road, but there were a couple of Y's and forks and I was afraid that in the dark I wouldn't know exactly where to go. But thanks to having that picture that I showed in the beginning, then it was no big deal and I made it through just fine. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so I made it into National Rocky Mountain National Park. I made it into, I'm at the Bear Lake area. So of this part of the park that's really, really hard to get into, uh, they restrict access from five o'clock on. It is now just before 5 a.m. and all this, all that I pulled into the the checkpoint station about 4.30. So it's taken me almost a half an hour to drive here in a big row, a big line of people. Like there are, there are so many people here right now. We're all driving in together. And so I figured that once I got here, I would of course sit in the car and wait till it's light outside till I can actually see something, right? And I expected all these other people who were sitting in, who were driving up with me to kind of do the same thing, right? Like we just wanted to get here to get our spot. And then once the sun comes up, we can go ahead and hike, right? Do this, see the Bear Lake, hike the hike. And all these hardcore people are all pulling out their little lights on the top of their heads and they've got their backpacks and shit and th or, sorry <laughs> their backpacks and stuff and they are heading out they're like scurrying along they're like not wasting any time and I'm so curious so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hiking shoes and I think I'm gonna head out and see what all the fuss is about see what they know that I don't Okay, so I kind of figured out nobody is here to do the little, the short hike that I am that's just the circle around Bear Lake. They are here to do multiple other hikes. This is a trailhead for about eight different hikes, and a lot of them are listed on all trails as really great hikes. But those guys are all, they're hardcore. They've got their backpacks, they've got their hiking poles and uh, they're gearing up for like a whole day. And I just geared up for my little one mile, um, easy even for me, <laughs> um, this mile walk around this lake, which was gorgeous. You can see it better in the daylight. And I'll show you that too. Okay, it's a little before 6 a.m. and I just finished my hike around Bear Lake. I am going to have some more water. I'm gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and have a banana and then a little extra uh, insect spray 
and my hat, and I'm going to head out for, I think I'm going to try to do Alberta Falls, which is another hike that was in the other direction. So I'll keep you posted. So I just took the trailhead for Alberta Falls, but it's starting out with a huge downhill. Now, I'm terrible on inclines. You know, I'm very out of shape and I'm carrying a lot of weight. So I'm bad on inclines, but at least if I do the incline up front, then I know I can get back home, you know. <laughs> I know I can get back to where I started. But I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this trail. It depends on how far down it's gonna go, how far down in elevation it's gonna go. And of course I don't have internet or cell coverage right now, so I can't check my map. So wish me luck. All right. It's still going down, down, down. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but I really wanna do this hike. Um, I think it was labeled as easy, or I wouldn't have looked it up, but it's not, not easy for me. It, easy just means I don't have to climb over a bunch of rocks and stuff, and it's a, it's a pretty cleared um, trail and everything, but it keeps going down. So here's what I'm telling myself. Even if it takes all day long, I can get up this, even if it's just like one little flight of stairs at a time. If it's 10 or 12 feet at a time, then it's 10 or 12 feet at a time. I hope I'm making the right decision. Okay. Every time I come around the corner, I'm hoping I'm gonna get some level ground and I keep getting declines. <laughs> okay, guys, now I'm really starting to get worried. It is more and more downhill. Okay, the water got me all re-energized. So here's my sign. Uh, six tenths more of a mile. I can make it. I can get to Alberta Falls, I'm thinking. So I continue to move forward. It was downhill up until here. This was kind of actually the low spot in the hike, but well, I didn't know it at the time. I may really hate myself coming back, but this is gorgeous. There's no getting around that. There's no getting around that. And maybe, just maybe, the next six tenths of a mile are going to be relatively flat. Fingers crossed. Here we go. I'm really glad I did not know, looking back now that I've finished the hike, I'm really glad I did not know that those six tenths of a mile were going to be almost all uphill. <laughs> so sometimes ignorance is truly bliss. Man. Carrying all this extra weight and being out of shape is rough. I'm just constantly talking to myself, telling myself to slow down. Doesn't matter how long it takes. I can stop every 10 feet if I want to, but I am gonna make it to the falls. You better believe it. <laughs> but a lot of self-talk, just encouraging myself and encouraging myself to take it really, really slow. So, still plugging away. You can't hear the audio on this part, so I'm just going to voice over it. I was like, is this it? Could this be it? Because you can, you can hear the water flowing underneath. Uh, I don't see any falls yet, but I'm hoping it's like around the corner. I was like almost in tears like, is this it? Please let this be it. <laughs> and it's not, but it is, it's still gorgeous. <laughs> almost there. And this was no false alarm. In the audio, you hear me say, Oh my God, this is it. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. No, I said, thank God. And you just can't hear the audio at all because uh, the falls are so loud. And it really is magnificent. Like so many natural beauty things, it's very hard to capture on camera. It's my official sign that I'm officially here. And so it was a glorious moment. I have to really savor these moments. I really took a little bit of time here and was trying to pat myself on the back. This is a big accomplishment for me. But don't get to enjoy it too long though because you know what's coming. Just started the climb back up. Wish me luck. I'm just going to take frequent breaks. I'm going to stop 
every 10 feet if I have to. I don't care how long it takes. And I just decided that the only way I won't make it is if I give up. And I've decided I'm not gonna give up. But I have to respect the limits of my body too, so I'm going extremely slow. And I'm just gonna stop constantly, catch my breath. It takes me no time to get out of breath. I'll just stop constantly, catch my breath, I move a few more steps, and we'll just see how it goes. I want so bad to sit down on that rock, but I don't think I'll get back up if I do. So I'm just gonna stand here until I catch my breath and keep going. Okay, I completed Alberta Falls and I made it back to the van. Actually, quite a bit of time has gone by because I was too emotional at first to even record anything. I got to the, at that last stop where I really wanted to sit on that rock, I was, I was really close to the top and I didn't even realize it, but around that next like corner, I had started to see the, the shelter thing that had the, the maps and stuff at the beginning of the trailhead. And then shortly I saw the, the parking lot and everything and I was just elated I was so I was very proud of myself and I really started like the ugly cry and just to I almost started to hyperventilate I think just because there was such a well of kind of emotion and a lot of things going on and um I'm just very I'm proud of myself and you know this this but this hike was literally like only a mile out and a mile back. I thought it was 1.9 miles or 1.9 miles, I think, is what I thought. But I thought that was each way and it was only, it was the whole thing. So that whole thing was like two miles, but it was such a saga and it was such a drama and it was so hard for me. <laughs> But that's okay because, you know, I did it. I'm, I am where I am. I'm in the shape that I'm in. And I'm not, I refuse to beat myself up. I'm going to just relish this and enjoy this. And, you know, things could always be worse. Um, things could always be worse. I could um, not be able to do, to do this. It, it could be, it could be so much worse and it is for so many people. And, and so, but, but the truth of the matter is when I was on this hike, there was nobody my size doing this hike. There was, there might've been a couple of guys <laughs> that I saw that, that might have weighed as much as I do, but, uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. And I mean, it was almost all just like super fit people and, I just feel such a great sense of accomplishment. I'm so happy that I did it. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> I don't have many more hikes in me today. Maybe if I took a break, maybe I could do like another short little one mile. So I'm going to um, see if there are any of those available that I might be able to do. And I'm just going to take it easy and kind of enjoy driving around and enjoy just being in the park. And maybe I can find a picnic spot. Just ending on a positive note, I really felt when I got to the top of that trailhead and I realized I was done, I really felt like Rocky, you know, at the steps in Philadelphia. You know, I have that, that's a, a, a voice, a, I was going to say a voicemail. That's a soundtrack that I run through my mind. That's one of those things like when I accomplish something, I'll just in my mind, I'm like, dun, 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 and I, I just, dun, dun, dun. Um, I just get it. Cue the Rocky music because I did this freaking thing. I did it. Yay. It wasn't ugly. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty and it wasn't fast, but I did it and I'm stuttering and I'm so tired. I think I'm even more tired than I, than I realized. So I better say bye for now. Okay. Now for anyone who's interested, this is what Bear Lake looks like during daylight hours, <laughs> but this trail is just awesome. It's pretty flat and just takes you all the way around the lake so it is always to your left side or your right side or whatever and and this is just what you get to look at the entire time so highly recommend but <laughs> get here early
ha ha ha. So thanks for watching another video and I'll catch you next time.